We're on the far southeast side of Chicago, right on the Indiana border. This being Indian Creek and travels roughly a mile and a half west of here, and it connects Wolf Lake to the Calumet River. Calumet River, of course, comes out of, the, out of Lake Michigan. That's our drinking water. Unfortunately, once the water flows along those, that slag area over there, it picks up a lot of the contamination and the runoff, and that contains heavy metals and a lot of toxins that bring it into Indian Creek. All the different steel firms around here, when the mills were going, they just produced so much industrial waste, they had to put it somewhere. The trains would just roll in and they just like tip these cars full of hot slag everywhere that they could put it. So here you start to see the huge slag piles and it's pretty obvious why the uh, dirt bikers and stuff enjoy it here. With so much dumping it just changed the whole landscape here. So much industrial waste that came out of the steel plants. But it's the creek that has us concerned and you know environmentalists worry about that. You see the birds down in the water there. If they're drinking from it and whatnot, is it gonna kill them instantly? <laughs> but over long term, who knows? We didn't think of anything. We literally played out here after school. I, I did my eighth grade rock study. I took all the rocks from here. Oh boy, those nuns are turning over in their grace and that kid poisoned us. <laughs> this is calcium, this is sodium bicarbonate, it, uh, magnesium. These are the byproducts of slag. The EPA said this is all hot now. The hexane chromium, that's the stuff that Aaron Brockovich had to expose where it settles in your lungs, but then you cough it up one day. I'm actually documented from Mayo, from Mayo Clinic and from my personal doctor said I have environmental diseases because of playing out here as a kid. So I don't want no one else to suffer. This is closed off. It's a it's a it's a an EPA hazard site, man. This stuff you guys are breathing, you can't get sick, dude. This is what we've been trying to stop for years, people coming out here. I don't mind the ATVs. I don't want them getting sick. And then you tell them, you know what, you don't want to be out here. <laughs> that gray, gray fog you're in is in normal. The best thing, but it would be very costly, would be total remediation. That would be removal of all the slag and then uh, a remediation of the creek itself. Short of that, at least maybe what they ought to do is put some kind of a uh, river bank protection over there. Yeah, it, it really concerned a lot of people and they weren't quite aware of just how hazardous this was out here. Goldfinches? <laughs>